Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ace Otero and today's pick a card reading is going to be looking at what your person thinks of you or how they perceive you essentially at this current moment, I should say. <laughs> so if you are new to pick a card readings, I'll quickly explain how they work. We've got four piles here, pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. If you need to pause the video and meditate to pick your pile, absolutely feel free to do that. And then you will find the corresponding timestamps down below. Now I'm not taking personal readings right now, but I will be soon. So look out for my Etsy shop coming up. I'll be sure to announce that. Um, and of course, as usual, if this resonates or you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below how it resonates. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start with pile one. Hey there, pile one. If you chose the red candle, this is your reading and this is what your person thinks of you at this present moment. So to start, we have the magician. We have the three of wands. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Death card. And we have Justice. Okay. So I want to start off by saying that your person is definitely very um impressed by you they're very um they just think you're a very powerful person um and i would say both in um spirit and in the 3d world i'm definitely getting the magician is a, a person who is um relatively close to spirit or they just have a lot of spiritual energy around them and considering the purple here and the purple in justice um i would not be shocked if you have a lot of spirit guides or anything like that now what i've seen here with the three of wands is kind of like twofold so partially i think that this person sees you as the magician but i think maybe you have trouble seeing yourself as the magician i just get that this person like thinks the world of you and you just don't see the same value in in yourself and so i feel like that person has a hard time coming to terms with that because they're almost like how can i get this person to see how great they are but part of me wonders if part of that that lack of like not seeing your worth entirely comes from something they did um, because the three of wands can also signify communication challenges or having trouble contacting someone or just being able to, to talk to them. And so it's possible that with the seven of swords in reverse that this person did something to you in the past that was kind of messed up. And with it in the reverse, it's possible that they've recognized that what they did was wrong and so they want to um work with you to make the situation right and kind of make things right but this also the seven of swords could simply just be that you are um easy to talk to or not easy to talk to because i just said communication challenges that you're easy to trust um that they that they they would trust you um with anything that they had to say, it's just, I wouldn't be shocked if there's some ego fears here, especially um, if they did something that wasn't super great in the past. But I, I definitely think they see you as someone who's selfless and um, very open and kind of um, just very kind and empathetic. Uh, but in addition to that, I think they see you as someone who's very hardworking and um with this magician like you've got the capabilities and the work drive to get things done so i think this person is very impressed by you and if they did do something in the past to um mess up this connection or mess up how you guys felt about each other or like mess up 
just whatever is going on. I'm sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble talking today for some reason. Um, they do want to work with you and build a solid foundation. It's possible that there maybe there's already a solid foundation here. And so um, despite these challenges going on, they think that at some point it will get better. Um, or they just think you're a solid person, um, a young professional maybe, or just someone who is on their way to being very successful and they're very impressed by you. I'm moving on to the death card. Um, I can definitely see that this person wants something in this connection to change. And I think that it is um, restoring balance to this connection. I think maybe um, you have been giving more energy in this connection than they have. Um, although that may not be resonate for all of you because it is a general reading. Um, but if you notice here with this death card, how like the rope is almost about to be cut, it seems like this person is about to make some kind of change in regards to this connection. And I do think it is to restore balance, especially if this person um, did something not so great to you. It's like they want to make the situation right and they want to do you justice. Um, but I do think that this person may have some sense of not feeling good enough for you. Um, it's also possible, yeah, that that three of wands, rather than them thinking that them not, oh my gosh, I can't talk. So this three of wands could be um, them recognizing that you don't see your own worth and you don't see how great you are, but it could also be that they don't think they're good enough for you. Because I do with this magician right here, I think they hold you in very high esteem. And I think that they see you as someone who is um, very hardworking and very dedicated and committed and just just can really like get stuff done. Like that's the biggest thing. Like, like you can make things happen, pile one. And I think this person is super impressed by that and just your drive and, um, your power. So let's go ahead and look at your oracles. And you guys actually got extra ones, I might add. So we have Flannery O'Connor, Humanity. This is the Literary Witches Oracle deck, by the way. It's pretty cool. And we have Janet Frame, Belonging. We also have prostitute. Why is it every time I do a reading with these cards, they come out? <laughs> Accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. And Samaritan refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. We also have the world. And one more card. We have Count Nibbles, <laughs> isn't he cute? Let love sink its teeth into your heart. So this is interesting because this is the only sign of like love so far. So maybe this person is kind of trying to soften you up. It's possible that the Seven of Swords could be that you've been hurt and betrayed in the past. So you're not very open and you feel more comfortable being by yourself and being on your own because you know that, um, you know, you can take care of yourself. You can be there for yourself. There's just a huge sense of independence. And I feel like this person feels a sense of like home with you. They feel like they belong with you in a sense. And I feel like they want to bring forward some kind of offer of love. If this isn't a romantic connection and just a friend, it could just be that they want to um, be more affectionate and just show you how much they care about you. Um, but I do see this person. So it's possible that maybe they have been keeping your connection very professional and they're very close to wanting to end that with the death card. Um, but these Oracle cards are really showing me the kind of good person that you are. When I said earlier, like you light up their world, like 
it's I'm not shocked that the world came up I feel like this person sees you as someone who is complete on their own but it's also possible that you could be very worldly that you like to travel a lot or um you're multicultural possibly you know maybe you have family that comes from different backgrounds and so you've got an interesting background I'm kind of getting like really good cook like may you might make like this is definitely not gonna resonate for everyone but you might make a lot of like um dishes that like combine both cultures or something um but I can definitely see that this person recognizes how good of a person you are with the Samaritan like maybe this person did do something really messed up to you and so um now it's like you're still kind to them and they're like why like I, I did some things that were so messed up to this person and they're still um you know so good to me but also with the prostitute card I totally just see this as someone who is um solid when it comes to um their how they like project themselves to the world because like so, and what I mean by that is like if somebody um says something to you that's not very nice or something crappy happens at like school or work or something you don't act like you're phased if something bothers you you deal with it yourself but you have a very good um external uh I don't want to say front but just like you know you're very composed and you don't even if something gets to you like you don't let people um know that you're affected by it and I think too this person sees you as someone who um is very solid in what they want and knows what they want and if that's possible why they don't feel good enough for you um maybe you kind of have this list of like your ideal person or what you think a, a partner should be or should rise up to um and so i feel like this person um maybe feels like you are um too good for them and I also do see too, you know, it's maybe you guys aren't really focused on love right now. And so this person is having a hard time coming in uh, because one of the shadow attributes can be placed as material considerations and security above self-empowerment. So it's possible that maybe you really desire love, but you're having a hard time opening up and accepting to it because you feel like you need to focus on yourself and focus on your career or whatever it is you need to focus on. Just take what resonates. Um, but I definitely do see like, I feel like this person um, sees a place with you almost and they see your kindness especially. With humanity and the world, I just, I wouldn't be shocked if you are in some type of career that involves helping other people, it'd be like healthcare, social work or something like that. Even if it's like something small, like customer service or something, it's like, I feel like you're just very kind to whoever you meet. And especially with this peacock and all of these flowers, I think, that they think you are very beautiful and very intelligent too, I might add. Um, but overall, I feel like this person just sees you as someone who's very strong um, and very steadfast. I don't even know if that's the right word I wanna say. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This reading has been really tricky for me because I, I'm having a hard time like reading the energy and the energy just feels stuck to me. It's like this person, I feel like I'm kind of picking up on this person's energy towards you and there's like excitement and admiration but also like a huge block of some kind. Like like they almost like you're almost unattainable or they can't get to you or they can't completely figure you out like i feel like they're still trying to figure you out and they really want to get to know you more and want to get to know you better but um either you're not receptive to it or they're not uh speaking their feelings um but i think it is close to changing so if i i mean this one is just so <sighs> tricky and challenging that's like really what I'm getting like this person sees 
your connection as a bit of a challenge. I wouldn't be shocked, but I, I mean, they definitely see you in a very positive light. I just would not be surprised if maybe you're the one not being receptive to them because you have high expectations and um, you're not gonna let just anybody in. You're worried about yourself and you're not gonna drop what you're doing to appease anyone else, especially not a partner. You know, you wanna be full of self-love before you can love someone else. Um, but yeah, you guys are interesting, pile one. I definitely stumbled over my words a lot because I, I could see different outlets, but it's just interesting how blocked this energy is. It's very blocked in some way. Anyway, let's go ahead and just look at your channel messages and see what this person would say to you if they could or had the chance or are thinking of you. <laughs> and would you look at that? Complications scare me. <laughs> so yeah, maybe this is what's holding this person back, these complications within this connection, um, maybe complications in your life or their life um but yeah i do feel that like kind of fear of facing it i get so lost in your eyes that and i miss our friendship okay so yeah this person definitely maybe they made an advance towards you or did something that you weren't ready for um, and they just missed talking to you or maybe when this person did do that messed up thing maybe you cut them off and so they're missing you a lot um i actually want to shuffle for a few more because this energy is just so interesting so what would pile one's person say to Whoop! okay uh, See, can I do this without dropping all the cards? What will pile one's person say to pile one? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to take this one because it came up, but then we're going to pull another one because just too many came out. But this one says, I feel powerless. So yes, this person could definitely be... Um, not sure how to move forward. Uh, just with this three of wands in reverse, it's what really sticks out to me out of all of these. And I can just see how this person, um, definitely admires you and definitely, um, sees a lot of potential in your connection and in you. Um, but something's going on here, pile one. And I think it's unique I feel like I'm just picking up on so many different energies right now. And like each, I feel each of your guys' situations are obviously going to be unique. And so I feel like keep losing my train of thought because I'm like, oh wait, but this, and then that, and then, and then at the same time, it's like, it's just blocking. So that's interesting, but let's get, okay, this one fell out. I need to find myself. So yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if this person has been doing some of that, especially with this three of wands in reverse, you know, maybe they feel like you didn't, um, see them all the way or, um, that they are just kind of trying, they want to, they want to be the person that you know, that, that they know you deserve. And so they're trying to figure themselves out. So let's see what's on the bottom you are my everything wow okay so definitely this person has like strong feelings for you and they think the world of you i mean like you are my everything and the world like come on that's definitely some strong energy i just feel like this is just such a this is a complicated pile <laughs> um definitely for sure pile one but um just remember that no matter what happens or what this person thinks of you like I think you guys clearly already know this but you guys have the power and the freedom to make your own decisions and you should never let someone take up your time if they are 
not worth it and they are not good to you. But um, I really do think that this person, um, even if they've done something messed up in the past, I feel like they're really trying to change and they're trying to be um, a good person. I feel like they want to, to match you essentially. But that is all I'm getting for you guys, Pile 1. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely let me know if this resonated at all in the comments because I am like so... I'm just getting so many different things. So I'm definitely curious to hear your situation. But I hope you enjoyed this reading and definitely give me a like if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so that you will be notified when I make more of these videos. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this reading. I really appreciate you and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye! Hey there, Pile 2. If you chose the pink candle, this is your reading, and this is what your person thinks of you at this present moment. So we have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Lots of fire and air energy here. That is for sure. Okay. So once again, I'm getting this vibe kind of similar to the last pile of this either being like a newer connection or one that's not very romantic at least yet. Um, this could either be a newer connection that's building or there could be some history here, especially with the Five of Swords. Actually, I wanna clarify that Five of Swords. Let me clarify the Five of Swords for me, okay. One card, please. Five, five of swords for me. Five, five of swords. Any day now. Five, five of swords. The chariot. Okay. I, I, okay. So you guys, Pile 2, are definitely um, very career-oriented and very driven. And what I'm getting from this pile is that it's possible that you maybe have had arguments with this person about um, your future, either together or separate. Um, maybe there's been complications in moving forward because... Um, I see that you guys are, are, you guys as in pile two are very career oriented and you're not going to sacrifice what somebody else, uh, wants if it means giving up your career, because I think the six of wands is very important. And I think it's because you guys are confident, but also you want to, um, invest the time and energy in yourselves so that uh, you can be uh, victorious within your career. So I do see with the Five of Swords that maybe you guys have gotten into some like petty small arguments in the past over where you guys are going in life. Um, just with this chariot and the two of wands, I wouldn't be shocked if they see you as someone who's a very future oriented person. Um, now I wouldn't, okay, so, it's possible, very possible that this right now is a um, situationship where you guys could possibly be um, sleeping together. Because uh, with the Knight of Wands, I mean, I feel like they think you're pretty hot. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think they think you're hot um, and like really confident. I feel like they find your confidence like really sexy, honestly, which is not a word I use in my normal vocabulary. So do with that what you will. <laughs> but um, also like, 
you are someone with this sword here you metaphorically cut through all the bullshit with your words like you're not the type of person to um just give people like just say platitudes for whatever like if you like I can just see you being like super blunt with people and just straight up telling them how it is um and I definitely think that they see you as someone who is very solid what's interesting is that we've got a lot of horses in here too so um maybe you're very connected to animals or you could possibly ride horses or um you're just very in control of things essentially um you're kind of the master of your own world and you're not going to let someone take it over because like you are already a king in your own right, whether you're male or female. Um, but I do see that this person, like the three pentacles, like they think you're very hardworking and they do feel a sense of comfort. Honestly, for some of you, not all of you, but some of you, I could, I'm kind of getting the vibe that like, this person is very similar to you are to you do I even know grammar I can't even grammar this person is very similar to you where they also care about their career and they are kind of similar um and so it's possible that they desire someone who's maybe more um submissive I guess or like like they want someone who's kind of gonna um follow them and help support their dreams and so they might find it slightly upsetting that um or you might you guys might get into arguments because you're not going to sacrifice um what's going on in your own life and your your career opportunities to appease them which is good pile two like definitely don't let go of that but I definitely think you've proved your worth to this person in a sense um and it's almost like I feel like this person sees you as someone who they like, like, it's almost like you're completely the opposite of this person's normal type. And so all of these opposites kind of bring out maybe some petty um, arguments. But overall, this person really respects you. They respect the hell out of you, actually. And I can kind of get the sense that they think about you a lot, especially like, if they're alone, or they're in nature, like, they'll think like, oh, I wish like, pile two is here with me right now or, or something like that but they definitely see you as someone who's very fiery very passionate very smart smart is a huge thing and that's why you guys might get into these arguments because I think honestly I wouldn't be shocked if this person maybe typically um like someone who they at least believe they're smarter than and I feel like you're either as smart as them or possibly or or smarter and so it's like you guys get into these verbal arguments because um they think that they can win them and then you just come back and you're like well no because xyz and they're just like <laughs> like they're just like crap like i didn't think of it that way like honestly i think of these battles like you win a lot of them pile two i think this person um is not as successful when it comes to these little like tiffs um and I think this person knows that and I think that they um are trying to be on their best behavior in a sense because they don't want you to turn your back on them that's really what I'm getting like they know that you are a gift and I feel like maybe now they're really starting to accept and understand that you're not going to sacrifice your dreams and your goals for them and that you're willing to work with them but you're not going to sacrifice what you want to be with them essentially um and i definitely think this person this yeah, especially like i feel like this person um between the two of you will probably um, make more sacrifices for you uh, just because I feel like they see you as like a real treasure, a real gift, someone who is um, kind of like the total package, honestly. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if you guys are the types of people to, to, to be, um, to show your affection through like, oh my gosh, like I hate you or stuff like that. Like, 
like fake not arguments but just like like throw in fake insults and stuff like I feel like you guys are very funny and you guys do just kind of like to keep things very light-hearted and so when things get more serious I can see how um verbal just like little disagreements might occur but let's go ahead and look at your oracles so we have the sun oh that's beautiful we have judge balancing justice and compassion managing the fair distribution of power like look what i was saying about power earlier We have Ninja, break out of your shell. You were born to shine. Oh, and I oh, got the sun. I love, and that sun up there too. I love when there's like little synchronicities like that. Um, then we have Angela Carter, identity. This is the um, literary, literary witch oracle. So they have a bunch of different authors on them. And spider, focus, planning, digesting, which really correlates with this um, two of wands. So yeah, this kind of all backs up what I was already saying. Like you are the judge in the sense of like what I was saying earlier, how this person kind of wants. Um, so if you look at this little chariot, how there's like the white horse and the black horse, and they're both very different. One's fierce and one's kind of like... Um, has their eyes closed and they're resting on the other person. I really think that um, when I was saying like you, you're not going to be that person that concedes what they want to appease the person that you're asking about pile two. You guys are the judge of what's fair and what's not. So it's like if I, if you, if you can go after your goals and achieve your dreams, I can do the same. Like it does not have to be this or that. Like you are not afraid to call them out when something is unfair. You want to balance the scales. But if anything, I feel like you just light up this person's world. Like you are their son. And especially up here too, it's like they want to take care of you and they want to um, give you everything. And like what they don't realize is that by giving you everything that's letting you be free and doing what you want. And I don't mean free in the sense of like free from the relationship, especially if you guys are in an established connection. It's possible um, because this is a general reading. It's just a lot of the things I was getting were maybe more new or more of a situation chip type thing. But I think this person is always like very excited to see you and just very, um, I feel like you've illuminated a lot of things about themselves that they may not have realized. And you also are just like, they are very happy to be around you and they are very happy to be a part of your life. Um, and with this ninja, so I'm kind of getting the vibe that maybe some of you were in relationships in your past or maybe you were more like submissive or just like you um, kind of let the other person shine and you kind of realized through that how um, you were dimming yourself to help that other person shine and how you were being true to yourself and you and you weren't fully um, taking advantage of uh, your passions and your skills and so now I feel like you've realized your worth and, and how much you can achieve and accomplish and so you're like I am not gonna let any person take that away from me and I think that is great pile two you guys should never let somebody else um dim your sparkle and you know this is just a total confirmation of you guys have been working on getting out there and being yourselves like you're doing the right thing and you are gonna get there because you guys are that six of wands and I also think that you guys are still forming your identity of yourselves and so it's possible that maybe um you're afraid of another person um influencing how you see yourself I feel like you want to have um a sense of self that's formed by you and only you and you don't want other people's opinions to kind of muddle that I feel like maybe you had um worse opinions of yourself in the past because you believed what some toxic people said and um you're starting and you had to learn that that wasn't true and that you had worth and that um you are so much better than what a couple of haters said like 
I, I, I just feel like you guys are still finding yourselves, especially that two of wands, you're still figuring everything out right now. And so it's completely understandable that you would not want to um, concede what you want or how you feel based on um, what someone else wants. And I think this person like respects that about you. They really respect that you're not clingy, that you're not like you're very independent and you're focused on yourself and you are working on yourself. And so then finally with the spider, uh, focus, planning, digesting, it's possible that this person wants to make a plan to come forward if they haven't already. Um, but this could also just be representative of how you're focused on yourself and you're focusing on your goals and planning your life. Okay, so let's look at your channel messages to see what this person would say to you if they could. I wasn't ready for these feelings. I want to reach out, so it's possible that some of you are in a separation. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. Your light is a gift, and we have the sun. Look at that. That is just so <laughs> crazy. They definitely love your light pile one. Oh shit, I hope I'm not in the frame. <laughs> And I haven't healed. So it is possible that they are still healing from things too. And so that could be the cause of some of these conflicts. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle one or two more just because I want to see if this, what they might also say. So what pile two's person say to pile one? To pile one. To pi what would pile two's person say to pile two? Guys, I dropped my phone in the toilet today. I have just been having a hard time, <laughs> so forgive me. <laughs> I've like bumped into 70 different things. I'm just, I'm a nightmare right now. What would pile two's person say to pile two? Okay, oh, I'm getting two. Okay, okay. Holy cannoli, I see us getting married one day. Uh, that makes a lot of sense because if they're arguing about their future, about your guys' future and stuff, you know, maybe they, they see you um, as someone who, um, Oh gosh, I just lost it. They see you as someone like the argue like the arguments you guys have had in, in, recently or in the past uh have been from, you know, this person wants to have a life with you and you're like I'm not gonna give up my dreams and my career for you. And we have one more. I wish I could hold you right now. So, I feel like this person is maybe not um as open about their feelings as they could be. Um, but I do think that this person feels strongly about you. It's just that um, I feel like they think that maybe you don't reciprocate and it's possible that you don't. Um, you could just be asking for someone to see what the case might be. But um, if you are in separation with a person, um, they do want to reach out and they do have feelings for you. And you, I mean, if you're not in separation, like they do have feelings for you. Um, like I said earlier with like, them like you being completely different from the type of person they normally go after like maybe you guys started off as friends and you weren't expecting for this to um escalate but um now that it has like they're like oh my gosh like I can't even go back to to the other type of person that I was attracted to like this is this person is amazing pile two is awesome like I want to be with pile two but okay I think that will do it for this reading pile too. I'm sorry that I went on a little rant towards the end, but um, I really appreciate you guys so much. Um, if this resonated, definitely leave me a comment down below and leave a like and subscribe so that you can see more of my videos coming out. It helps me so much. You guys have no idea. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. Maybe not. I'm slightly frazzled. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. 
Hey there, Pile 3. If you guys chose the orange candle, this is your reading and this is what your person is thinking about you as of right now. So to start, we have the Two of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We have Judgment upright. The Seven of Swords, upright. And you guys actually got three cards. You got the Seven of Wands, upright. I mean, in reverse, sorry. We have the King of Swords, upright. And the Queen of Pentacles, upright. You guys actually got an extra card. So, Pile 3, I'm going to say right off the bat, like... It is very possible that you're in separation with this person. I am definitely getting that vibe right away. Um, but if you are not, I will do two different readings or just like kind of two different scenarios. One, if you are in um, separation with this person or if you are in contact with them. Uh, but the biggest thing that I am getting is that this person does not know what to do when it comes to you and your connection. Um, with the set, Six of Pentacles in reverse, I get the idea that even if you guys um, are still talking, it's like maybe they've um, started talking to you less or started, um, they've started like just kind of withholding things. Like, like they're not giving you the same energy that they used to. Um, but like I said, I'm really getting the heavy idea that a lot of you that are watching this are in separation. Um, just with the Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in reverse, like I, I would not be surprised. Especially with the Seven of Swords here too. Um, I feel like this person has kind of gone through almost sort of a, a, a breakthrough recently. Um, if this person did something really messed up to you in the past, I think they're finally not being so defensive about it and, and egotistical about it. And, um, and they really realize like what they did now was kind of messed up. Like this seven of swords, especially being in the middle, like I feel like there is definitely some kind of event that happened that um, left one of you in the dust for sure. And just, um, really like I it, I I want to say for some of you it was almost kind of like a tower moment like really big um but they've had some kind of clarity on the situation and their behaviors um but at the same time it's like they still don't know how to move forward yet um but I feel like maybe it's possible if you guys are not in separation and you guys are currently communicating, it's possible that in the past they were maybe very selfish and very um, negligent of how their behavior affected others. And by meeting you, they kind of learned, like you kind of showed, showed them the light, so to speak, in terms of like how they behave and um, maybe some of the negative behaviors that they've done. Um, I know this reading is supposed to be what they think of you, but tarot is a mind of its own. And sometimes they just, they, they want to tell, they want to tell me what's up. And I feel like this is definitely a situation of telling the viewer what's up. Like, especially if you are in separation and this person, um, has kind of left you on red. I think they feel really bad about what they did, like really bad. Um, Cause here's where they do see you and it's in the queen of pentacles and the king of swords. So this means two things. One, you guys, I feel like the king of swords is more the um, persona you show the world and the queen of pentacles is more who you are to the people that you care about. And so to the outside world and even to this person, because it still is part of your personality, um, like I'm really getting like a Gemini rising or um, an Aquarius white rising. Um, 
those are very specific, so take that out as it resonates, but, um, you could be just very, um, straightforward with people and very, um, you kind of leave emotions out of it, very logical, very analytical, um, definitely an effective communicator and very intelligent. Um, I feel like a lot of people respect you. Uh, it's possible that you're a leader of some kind, either in your workplace or maybe through um, a group activity or church or something. But um, I feel like this person has seen this Queen of Pentacles side to you. This side that's very caring and very nurturing. And I feel like this person... Uh, oh, you also, you might have a cat. <laughs> and I think if you do, they really like your cat or cats. Um, but I feel like you, you pile three as a viewer, you guys have, um, maybe before you guys met this person, you kind of, um, had your own fun. And like, I feel like maybe this person was really significant to you. And so you were like, okay, like I'm going to get serious. I'm, I feel really strongly about this person and I want to be serious about them. And so you kind of like hung up or just like matured a lot. And, um, and I feel like whatever this person did to you, because I'm really not getting that it's you guys that did something. I really feel like this person did something to you. Um, because I feel like you really, with the seven of wands, you let your guard down with them for sure. And I feel like you're, you don't typically do that. And so the fact that you did was like, it was kind of like jarring for this, this seven of swords moment to happen because you were so like, defenseless almost like you weren't expecting it and so I feel like that's why this person either hasn't been very forthcoming or you haven't been talking at all because um they feel really bad about what they did they they like I'm getting in my head excuse my French but they're like I fucked up like I almost wonder if maybe they didn't um appreciate this queen of pentacles side to you until they didn't have it anymore but I am feeling this genuine, like, ah, oh, man, like, I let go of something good. Like, I let go of a good thing. And I just see huge regret. And I see, like, I honestly, like, feel like they're hating themselves right now for what they did. So I would not be shocked if this person is, like, really not in a good place right now because they're so... I feel like this awakening that they had to their behavior and, and what you mean to them really just like now they're just like I don't know what to do maybe you won't forgive them um and if they did something really messed up you don't have to well of course you never have to even if it was just a tiff or you aren't that interested in them anymore you guys um have the freedom to allow people in your lives or not but like I'm just getting this huge just like I screwed up um but nonetheless, this person still thinks very, very highly of you. And I, I, feel, I feel like there's a lot of regret for what they did. Um, but let's go ahead and start looking at your oracles. So we have strategy in reverse. So this like completely correlates with the two of swords. So I feel like they're not quite sure how to go about what they've realized yet. But here's something super beautiful. Uh, Flapper and Bloodwing. True friends stick together every step of the way. So I feel like this person, maybe you guys started as friends and it became more and then you let your guard down because maybe they only saw this King of Swords at first and they respected you as like an equal or just someone who was very intelligent and then you guys got closer and you showed that more romantic side and maybe this person wasn't ready to be serious. Um, but I feel like this is a sign that this person is coming back. Like I feel like you guys have not just, you guys have a really strong friendship, a solid foundation. Um, and I feel like it's possible that this person is going to come back. And here's what's really interesting too, is that you've got a thief. So I feel like you literally stole this person's heart. Like they were not expecting it. So maybe with the seven of swords, maybe you did steal their heart. And like, they thought that like that seven of swords, they, they, they were doing something screwed up to you. But at the same time, the seven of swords could also play in that like you stole their heart without even realizing it and sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. So that's why I feel like, I think it's crazy to say that because like, 
I was talking about how this Queen of Pentacles is something that you don't show to everyone. And it's really your inner worth, your spirit. I feel like your spirit is a Queen of Pentacles. Your exterior is a King of Swords, but your spirit is a Queen of Pentacles. Um, okay. So let's look at your literary witches or oracle, which I think this oracle deck is so cool. Um, so we have elixir, health, toxicity, attending. So I definitely feel like this person recognizes that they were probably um, toxic and they needed to fix those behaviors. They're probably also working on their health. Um, it's possible that, you know, maybe they suffered from some kind of addictions or just weren't very healthy in general and so they're trying to get that in order and so they're like I can't even focus on anything until I get myself in order but I literally think like you stole this person's heart um and then we've got Joy Harjo I might be butchering that but bravery so this person definitely thinks you're very brave um it's possible that maybe you initiated uh, some kind of connection and maybe they weren't expecting um, to have such strong feelings for you but then they did um, and maybe it was too intense for them and so they did some things that maybe they um, wouldn't align with now but they um, they think you have really pretty hair by the way they really like your hair <laughs> uh, whether you're a guy or a girl they like your hair um, because I just, like, in so many images, you're getting this long, pretty, dark hair. Of course, you could have light hair, too. But, like, just long hair. They, I just, I feel like they they really like your hair. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like they think you're super brave. And it's like they kind of know that... I feel like part of their fear about coming back to you, if you guys are in separation, is, like you don't need them. And I feel like maybe they're used to being needed and they like being needed. And the fact of the matter is like you guys pile three are really strong and independent and you don't need somebody to take care of you. And so maybe they're like, I have nothing to offer this person um, or something like that. But they definitely see you as someone who's very brave. And um, like, I just see like such a similar thing with the King of Pentacles. Um, and I think that this person just like believes in you, if that makes sense. Like they, they just, they see your power even if you don't. So let's look at what this person would say to you if they could. So I have to stay practical. Our connection overwhelms me. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Are you kidding me? The freaking two of sword. Like, yeah, this person definitely is having uh, trouble figuring out what to do when it comes to your connection. Our connection triggers me. So, wow, we got two about the connection and there's triggers here. So that is interesting. And then we have, you've been so kind to me. So that definitely makes sense because... Um, with the seven of, seven of wands in reverse, like, I feel like the practicality is from a standpoint of like, they need to figure their own stuff, their ish out and take care of themselves. Like this health is really speaking to me. Um, it's possible that they have like things in their own life that they have to attend to. And like I was saying, I feel like they didn't expect to feel so strongly, uh, towards you. And so it, they, I feel like they may have engaged in some self-sabotaging behaviors because it was just too much for them. And now they're like, oh crap, like <laughs> this person was amazing, like pile three, like I want pile three back, but like, I don't know how to go about this. Um, you know, so I feel like it's possible for a little while. Um, you may not hear from this person if you are in separation. Um, but that does not mean that there is nothing in the future because it's very obvious that this person feels very strongly for you and they, um, really see your value and whatever they did to you, they really regret. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys, pile three. 
thank you so much for watching this. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Definitely let me know um, in the comments down below if it resonated and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. You have no idea how much it helps me. So um, I hope that this uh, situation gets figured out and they uh, come forward and, and let you know like how sorry they are <laughs> if this is your situation. But um, I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So thank you so much again. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hey there, Pile 4. If you chose the yellow candle, this is your reading. And this is what your person thinks of you as of right now. So to start, we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. We've got the Eight of Wands upright. We've got the Ace of Cups upright. We've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the Nine of Wands upright. And the Ten of Wands upright. Okay. So, this person, uh, first of all, has really strong feelings for you. Let's just get it out there. Uh, with this Ace of Cups, I feel like you sparked something in them. Maybe they didn't even realize um, they were missing. Um, it's possible that, that um, either you probably you because this is their perception of you um maybe you come off as very defensive and that's only because you just have a lot on your plate that you have to worry about and you're just not um I'm honestly getting the vibe that like your life is super chaotic pile four like even if it's relatively normal it's still just like every day is chaotic um maybe you just have a lot going on um your, your job or your family whatever it may be i just get the sense that that this person recognizes that there's a lot of craziness in their life um so it's possible that you guys of all the piles i think you guys are the pile that is most likely um in a connection already like possibly in a relationship though you don't have to be um maybe this person came forward or they're planning on coming forward because they definitely have really strong feelings for you and they want some kind of connection or commitment with you. And I feel like maybe they um, were too scared to come forward for a long time, but I feel like, you know, now they want to take action um, because I feel like they feel like, you know, you're probably not going to be the one to come forward about feelings if this is mutual of course um so they recognize that they need to take the lead and and kind of be there for you i feel like they understand that you've got a lot on your plate and that you are very stressed out and possibly defensive against love just because um you have maybe had bad relationships in the past or you've just been through a lot when it comes to love and so you're just like i'm not letting anyone in unless i really feel something for them because like i just can't deal with with this pain or this heartbreak anymore but what's amazing is how like you guys are like the human embodiment of tenacity like you guys are so strong and can get through anything and i feel like this person really respects that about you, um, really admires that about you. Um, and I feel like they see you as someone very strong. And see, what's interesting is that we've got the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe for a long time, they didn't want to admit their feelings to you or they didn't want to tell you your, their feelings. Um, and so they were finally like, I'm tired of suffering. I want this person. So I'm going to offer them literally like my cup of love like I want to take action towards this person even if you know it's possible that maybe they revealed their feelings to you in a very um like either in a moment where like now was like the moment was not right or it was just like a quick burst or just like hey I have feelings for you like 
like out of nowhere or something like that maybe you didn't even realize that this person had feelings for you and and, and now that that you know like it, you're kind of opening your i yourself up to the idea of them it's possible maybe you're watching this video um to get a better idea of what their true intentions are um but i i do feel like a deep care and like like this person gets butterflies around you and like I feel like they, they held off on telling you for a long time. And if they haven't told you yet, they've held off for a long time and they are going to come forward because of the Eight of Wands right next to the Ace of Cups. Like this is literally like taking action to speak about your feelings. Um, and so I guess if they haven't said anything yet, they're just hoping that you'll be receptive to them. Now, if you rejected this person, if they, if they opened up to you and you rejected them, it's possible that this is here because they understand your reasons for why you did. And so they're not really, they're maybe sad, but they're not anxious about it anymore because they're like, at least I told them and got it off my chest. But I definitely do see um, a couple different scenarios for how this could work out. But I feel like they see you as someone who, you're just, your walls are hard to break down. And I feel like rather than seeing it as, um, something to be discouraged by it's like a fun challenge like because I feel like they see a lot in you and they see your worth and they and they really want to go the extra mile for you pile four I think they really see something special in you and like someone they could see um you know going through life with essentially someone who's in it for the long haul and I think maybe they ruminated about telling you this for a really, really, really long time. And so getting it off their chest either felt amazing or it will feel amazing once they do. But I think the biggest thing overall is like, they have stronger feelings for you than I think they have for anyone else like they've ever felt. And so maybe they're not the type of person to come forward, but it's just like the magnitude of their feelings like compelled them and if they haven't said anything yet they will compel them to speak up about you so let's go ahead and start looking at your oracles so to start off we have action oh my gosh hell yeah look at that eight of wands so if they haven't moved forward and what's one plus seven eight like they're they're coming don't you worry we have Maggie hug someone today. So I definitely think this speaks to the fact that they want to hug you. <laughs> they want to embrace you. They want to be close to you, but they also see you, which would also make sense. Like with someone having a lot on their plate, like you're probably a very good multi multitasker. And it's just like you, you're seemingly doing, like if you notice there's like a teeny tiny clock and it's almost like there's not enough hours in the day to get done everything you want to get done. So if you even like give this person an ounce of attention, they feel so special. They think you're so smart and like, you know, just amazing. And they're like, I feel like honestly, it's like they don't want to let you get away and let someone else um, be with you because they feel so strongly about you. Um Let's see what else we have. We have hedonist inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates the beauty in yourself. So maybe you help this person. It's very possible that you're, maybe you extended this cup of love. In some cases, maybe you extended that cup of love and you helped this person through some really tough times. And so, Sorry, there's a car alarm going off. Hopefully you can't hear that. <laughs> um, but they, they definitely see you as a very uh, beautiful person, someone that they could see starting a life with, um, very abundant and just kind of sweet. And um, I feel like you made life a little more beautiful for them. So I think that's really awesome pile four so let's look so the next deck that i'm using this one leslie marmon silco community so this is a literary witches oracle deck and it features a bunch of different authors um that are women so it's a pretty cool deck and i might be um is that marmon leslie marmon silco 
uh, community. So maybe you're really focused. Uh, maybe you are like a social worker or um, a politician or maybe just someone who works for the community, even at like a rec center or something. But I see this general sense of like, you carry a lot on your back because you want to improve the lives of the people around you and like you genuinely care about them. Um, and I just see like a lot of people really admire you. I wouldn't be shocked. It's so funny. Like these two almost look like the same person. Um, a lot of people really respect you and admire you. And I wouldn't be shocked if, um, you have a lot of admirers. So maybe this person feels like they have to act fast and tell you how they feel if they haven't already. Um, and then we have book. So hope, reevaluation, ignorance. So I feel like this person, um, maybe feels hope for this connection, um, maybe is hoping that you will be an open book after you, after they open up to you if they haven't already. Um, maybe they're hoping that you will reevaluate them. Maybe if they've um, come forward in the past and you rejected them, they still wonder if there's hope for your connection, especially if you were like, no, I can't do this right now, I'm sorry. And like, and they're like, oh, well, maybe she'll be more free in the future. Like. And she'll, I'm saying she, but it could be he or she or they. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to use pronouns. It just sometimes when I'm reading, like, my, it's almost like I'm not talking. Like, I'm just being fed words. So, um, sometimes I may accidentally use pronouns. I don't mean to. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of green here. I feel like this, like, you are really in this person's heart space. Um, they're intentions are very genuine and pure and they think very highly of you very very highly of you and I, I just feel like if you guys aren't already together they really desire to be with you for sure so let's look at what this person would say to you if they could um let's see we have you've changed me wow I have so much I want to say to you so maybe that's they want to be an open book with you. Maybe they haven't told you yet. And they're like, I want to, hey, I want to come forward. Like you have really made me change as a person. Have you moved on? So maybe if you rejected them in the past, it's very possible that they want, want to go after you again because they don't want you to move on. Or um, maybe they are feeling like they need to take action now because they don't want you to. Um, I replay our conversations over and over. So yeah, I would not be shocked if this person really admires you um, and what you have to say. Um, and I feel like they really want to have a heart to heart with you soon if they haven't, because I feel like they really want to come forward with these. Let's shuffle like two more of these. So what would pile four's person say to pile four? terrible at shuffling. Pile four is person. Say pile four. Oh. I wish I knew where your head was at. Okay. Yeah. So I would not be shocked if they haven't come forward yet and they're like, oh, I want to know what they're thinking. They want you to be an open book. But at the same time, it's like, uh, they're, they're maybe afraid to come forward, but they're like, man, if I don't snatch them up, like somebody else might. So I just, I just need to go for it and be brave. You know, maybe this person was not the type of person to pursue someone unless they knew for sure that the other person was into them. And so, you know, you've really changed how they view themselves and how they, um, behave. Like, you definitely have a significant impact on this person, Pile 4. Like, if you think this person doesn't care about you, that is, like, the complete opposite. Because they they definitely care about you. Let me just say that much. Oh, my gosh. No cards are not easy to shuffle. Holy shit. Okay. You still have a place in my heart. That is so beautiful. Oh yeah, this person, this person is not going anywhere. Trust me. Um, 
I feel like if, if this connection isn't something that you want to happen, uh, the only reason it's not going to happen is because it's something on your end because um, I feel like this person is so into you. Pile one, pile four. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, I think that is really all I have to say for you guys, pile four. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely let me know down in the comments if this is resonating. Um, and definitely leave me a like and subscribe because you have no idea how much it helps me and it helps me know what kind of videos I should make and, um, helps, uh, you guys be notified. Oh, I hit the camera. Sorry. Helps me be notified. Helps me. Oh my gosh. I can't talk today. Helps you guys be notified when I do upload more videos. So I am going to leave you guys there. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.